Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another day, which is day five of this uh, lift install in the driveway. And today's the day where I got to finish everything front and rear. And it's going to get dark pretty soon, so I got to get this done. <clears throat> and I'll probably work into the night with some lights. But today uh, this has to be finished. And it's a little chilly, a little windy, but you know, it is what it is. So let's recap what I did so far. Drop the differential, uh, install the brackets on top here, uh, drop brackets, and then uh, install the front and rear uh, cross members. Now what I gotta do is remove the tie rods right here, trim off a little piece on the edge here, and then trim the actual rod itself. And then since the truck came with the leveling kit, I gotta remove this plate right here, which, which is pretty easy. Just it just comes off, it's just a little plate. Uh, it had a two and a half inch leveling kit, which has this plate, and then it had a plate on the bottom as well, it gives it about two and a half inches. And then the rear has a, um, and the rear has a block as well, so I gotta remove that. But other than that, uh, I just gotta do a few little upgrades here and there, and then I'll be installing the lower control arm, the drive shaft, spacer, the new spindle, and then the rotor, caliper, and that should be down on the front and then I'll start in the back. A day or two I'll take it in to get alignment done. And we should and we should be finishing up with this project here in a couple days. So once again, thanks for watching and uh, let's get this done. Let's go.
So I just did a quick measurement on the front and back to get the toe in kind of uh, the best I could before I go to alignment. And uh, the front was pointing out at 70 inches from uh, outside rotor to outside rotor on the back and front. So we got the front one was 70 inches, the back one was 69 and a half. So to get the toe in just a little bit, I'm gonna turn one of the tie rods in about a turn on both sides. One here. And I'll do one on this side on this side as well. Uh, so I'm gonna re-measure one more time and then if I need to twist the tie tie rod one more time I'll do that. And then once I get it right, I'll show you guys what it kind of looks like when it's kind of right. Uh, that way when you're driving down the street, the truck is not going to be swerving left and right all over the road. Uh, that toe in kind of keeps it uh, more centered. And that's the point of uh, toe in basically. So I'm going to measure real quick, adjust a little more if I need to. And I'll show you in a minute what it should be looking like. Alright, let's measure and see what we got as far as uh, toe goes. So we got 69 and 3 quarters in the front. Here we go, and the rear is also 69 and 3 quarters. So I guess it's pretty much the same on both ends, which is fine because I'm going to take it to the alignment as long as, as long as it's not pointing in too much or pointing out too much is going to be just fine. Basically, it's identical on the rear and the front as well. As long as I get it uh, the, as close as possible to what it should be, it should be just fine. The front is pretty much almost done. We'll continue on doing the front. Uh, I got calipers, I got axles to put on and drop the sway bar, and then I can put the wheels back on, and then I can start on the back. All right, let's go, let's continue.
All right guys, so it's two in the morning. The good news is the front is done. The bad news is I didn't get a chance to get to the back. So I slightly underestimated this project, but it's okay. Uh, There's a lot of uh, little things here and there that I didn't really count for. And uh, it's that stuff like that adds up as far as time goes. But at least we got something done. We got the front done and I'm gonna have to have maybe two, three more hours to do the rear. But other than that, I put the original wheels and tires that I had on there. I know it's gonna look goofy for a little bit, but I'll just drive with them for a little bit and see how everything uh, is running, if there's any vibrations or any kind of weird sounds, just to make sure everything is good. Um, and they do stick out just a little bit. They stick out about, I want to say, maybe an inch, maybe an inch and a half. And before, before they were they were flush with the fenders. So the kit does push out the wheels on the front, so the back will need a, probably a one inch spacer on the rear. What I'm gonna do right now is just turn the truck around. That way I'll have better access to do the rear. We'll get it done. So once again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another day and uh, we'll get the rear done, then get the lineman done. And I'm gonna put on the new wheels and tires. And if you got any comments, any questions, let me know. And I'll do my best to answer them. All right, see you guys.